Well, it's cracking people. Angelic Mayhem here. So, welcome to another edition of my Anno Online series. Uh, today, I want to talk about the mathematics behind games like this. Now, what do I mean by mathematics? Do I mean that you actually have to use mathematics while you're playing this game? No, you don't. You can just come in here and you can drop down houses and things like that and have fun. All right. But if you wanted to maximize every ounce of land, and some of us do, we're called weirdos, all right, you would actually have to crank out the numbers, you know, actually build a little city like this, and then look at, you know, the different infrastructure buildings, and compare it to the total population, and figure out how many people are supported by each building. So let me give you a for instance of that. Up here, we can see that I have apples and I have apple cider. All right, now both are in the positive at the moment. Now it does not seem that way with the apples because it says zero there. I want you to do, to ignore that number for a minute. This number is actually climbing up very slowly, and very steadily. The reason why it says zero under total is because this is a look at over five hours, and so that's a little deceptive. All right, so but we're gonna get past that. But apples and cider, they're both going up. Now, I also know the, no the total number of people who are living in my village. All right, this is 2,237. So I can actually take 2,237 and divide it by, I have all my apple farms in one place, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I can divide it by 6 and figure out that it's... What is that? It's about 325, 350, something like that. So for every 350 people that I have, I need an apple farm. And then I also can come over here, which is where all my ciders are, and I have one, two, three cider breweries. So I can also figure out that just based on six apple farms, for every two apple farms I have, I need one cider brewery. So when it comes to simulation games like this, focusing on the mathematics of the situation is not necessarily fun for everyone, and you shouldn't feel bad if that's not your cup of tea, but if you really wanted to maximize your land usage, you could actually crank out those numbers. Now the easiest way to do that is to clump everything together. So as you can see, this area of my island has completely changed probably since the last time that you saw it. And the reason why it's been such a long time since I've done a video is because my next mile marker is 1,500 vassals. And it has taken me forever to get up here. I was stuck on 1,200 vassals for forever. And there's a reason for that. There's actually a ratio of vassals to pioneers. It's not exactly two to one. For every two vassals, you need like 1.1 pioneers. Now, I don't actually understand why that is, because the game does a very lousy job of explaining these things. So if you're in the same predicament that I was a couple days ago, where you don't know how to get your vassals up, it's because your pioneers are remaining the same. You're trying to convert all of these houses to vassals when you can't. You actually have to have some pioneer residences and then set up your vassals someplace else. And the more vassals that you start creating, you have to begin adding more pioneer houses in order to compensate. Now, what I would like to show you is, here we have, above the pioneer residences, okay, you can see that I have um, the ability to upgrade. But every time I switch a pioneer house to become a vassal house, the number of pioneers goes down and the number of vassals goes up. And that can happen quite quickly. So hopefully, if I have enough of everything, I should be able to show you, let's start upgrading. As I upgrade these houses, there will come a point in time where I can no longer upgrade. Hopefully, I won't run out of materials. Boom. OK. I have plenty of wood, I have plenty of money, I have all the things that I need in order to actually upgrade this residence, but I cannot upgrade it. Why? Because I hit the ratio. 
And so there may come a time where you're sitting around and you're like, you know, this Pioneer Residence, I want to upgrade it. Why can't I do that? The game doesn't actually tell you, but there's a hidden ratio between the Vassals and the Pioneers that you have to respect. And if that ratio, if you get too close to it, the game will calculate if you convert one more house, one more Pioneer Residence to a Vassal Residence, what will happen. And if what will happen will violate that ratio then it won't let you do it so that's an understanding and actually 1457 I'm very excited about that because that means the 1500 around the corner and that means we're gonna be doing another video sometime soon maybe not today it might be tomorrow we'll have to see now I am pretty sure but I'm not 100% positive the vassals are 15 okay that's the most vassals that you can have in your residence the pioneers are eight now, if you compare 15 to 8, that's almost 2 to 1. So, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I'm pretty sure that that is the ratio. 15 to 8 is the ratio that you have to maintain in your population. Um, so, we'll see. Um, I'll have to crunch those numbers as I get uh, you know, a couple thousand more people in my city. And so down here, again, I want to remind you that by clumping all of your stuff together and keeping it in a nice, neat, orderly fashion, it's a lot easier to work these numbers out later. You can just say, you know, oh, I have three cider breweries, or I have, here, if you double-click on goat farms, it shows you all the goat farms, three, five, seven, and five more is 12. So I have 12 goat farms, and then I can just look and say, okay, you know, I have X number of pioneers, X number of vassals, you know that's the ratio the, of goat farms to people that I need and I also would have to compare like I'd actually have to go out and see goat milk okay 526 that's actually dropping so it turns out that 12 goat farms isn't enough if I add one more goat farm then I'll correct the problem with my milk so these are the mathematics that will help you out if you really feel like going there or if you just want to noodle around you know there's nothing wrong with that Thanks for watching this video. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I will see you next time.